couple time. Uh, let's let's go post Kerry greatest era. So that's uh, taking Mick O'Connell out because none of us actually none of us saw him play. So from that point on, from Jack O'Shea, the greatest player on that Kerry team. Jack O'Shea, Spillane, Tomo- or Potty, like those three, and then he throw in Mikey Sheehy as well. And no, you got you to pick one. <laughs> pick one. It's got to be Jack O'Shea, doesn't it? That, like I, I'm not in a real place to kind of say that. I, I didn't see that team in the flesh and stuff. But the way legend goes, it's like Mick O'Connell, Jack O'Shea, Morris Fitz, Gooch were kind of the great players from each of those teams. Uh, so Jack O'Shea, I guess, is the common theory. And is Jack O'Shea better than Morris Fitz? Well, you see, this is the thing. This is where recency bias comes into it. I would have, I do remember the magic of Morris Fitz. The, I do remember 2001. I, to 97, to a certain extent, is a, is a lot vaguer. But and then Gooch is complete recency bias when I think he is the greatest of all time because you think I, Gooch I was, is better than Morris Fitz. Well, I was there to witness the entire thing. I, I I didn't feel what people felt in 97 when Morris Fitz we, saves we, Kerry. We had Gooch in studio um, recently enough and. You were picking away at the open scab of him not being footballer of the year in the company of James Dunne, who was footballer of the year. And we were talking yeah. about footballer of the year. I didn't, I hadn't realised until you brought it up that he hadn't won a footballer of the year. Yeah, yeah, it's the only missing thing from his locker. Probably going to win it in 2011. But let's not talk about 2011. Let's talk about uh, Jack McCaffrey, as you mentioned there. The, the no need to bring up bad memories. Um, like definitely, I think there is. I, I was actually having this conversation after the game on Saturday that he probably is the player of this Dublin generation. When you think about the performances he's put in, when you think about the consistency of that performance, that when you talk about raw talent, of course people will remember Dermot Connolly for that, and Dermot Connolly will probably play again for Dublin, and he may well kind of back that up with performances that would justify that talent. But when it comes to the talent, when it comes to consistent performances, I think Jack McCaffrey has been the standout player of this Dublin team from 2013 onwards, and particularly over the last few years, player of the year, as you say, at a very young age, and then Saturday. It just kind of reminded us how great he is, rather than reminding us kind of what, uh, rather than being just a cog in this unbelievable machine, he is kind of that spark of genius that is really undeniable at the moment. Yeah, so if he stays at it, what does he have to do to become the greatest footballer? Is it possible that you can become the greatest footballer of all time now? Is that something that's, like, given how life works and how it's unfair to compare different generations? Well, naturally... Another footballer of the year, and then it's like, ooh, two-time footballer of the year. That doesn't happen very much. It would be absurd to think that Dublin can't produce a greatest footballer of all time as somebody that will be in that conversation, especially if they go on to win this year's All-Ireland and next year's All-Ireland. Especially if we're sitting here next year and they've done five in a row. Imagine the competition within that team to be the footballer of the year, the year that you win five in a row. Well, that is the thing. That, that, is, that is the thing. And like, it could be a, a whole wide range of people. Like, this could be the start of like, the dominance becoming even more dominant. That we could have Brian Howard becoming the best player of all time. You just don't know how he's going to progress because he has started so bloody well. And if we look at any player of that age, they tend to get better and better and better, just like Jack McCaffrey to a certain extent has. Now, the thing is, McCaffrey comes in at the start and he's unbelievably quick, which kind of gives him that edge over a lot of bigger players. And that was his debut season when he scores that amazing goal against Cork in an All-Ireland quarter final. that he had just a special talent right from the off that quite a lot of these Dublin players seem to have, actually, yeah. which is testament to a lot Don't of things. Don't worry, Owen, it's all cyclical. They'll get caught eventually. Yes. No, they won't. It's they, definitely not cyclical. It's, there's going to be 12 people at next year or in, in an all Ireland semi-final in 10 years. We're going to talk